Uh, what is going on everyone? Mark here. There we go. More lighting. Okay, so uh, what's going on everyone? Mark here. And today, got some good news uh, and bad news. Really, it's not even good news. It's just all bad news. Let me do this. I'm just curious. I'm going to take my little tripod off. And I'm going to my... Oh, that's awesome. I could do like videos with my camera. I should just like... It doesn't hurt my little screen there. Okay, so wow, this is actually kind of cool. I like this. It's like a little driving vlog. So, anyways, um, <laughs> well, good news is I'm going to Taco Bell for lunch. I love Taco Bell. Um, bad news is that my 240SX uh, decided to start leaking. So now. I've got to replace a um, gasket on my rear windshield, and if not just that, um, the drains that go for the sunroof, because there apparently is like little drain lines that run, um, which I did not know this, but on a 240SX, or even actually really any car with a sunroof, um, they're not designed to uh, keep the water out, they're designed to be able to leak from water, you know, when they're closed and everything, but the water travels through like a little vinyl tubing or something like that to, uh, to go and, you know, go down to the drain or whatever to drain out of the car. So the cars with the sunroof, what they're designed to do is they're designed to, the water's designed to run. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thinking about Taco Bell, so I'm like, okay. So the water's designed to run down uh, like a little track or something or a piece of tubing. And you know, over time, uh, they can get clogged up or something. There's a lot of different little things that can happen to cause it to not drain properly. And so when I talked to uh, a window expert in my area for he repairs, you know, car, just car window, windshields and windows, sunroofs, all of that, um, you know, he explained what the, uh, what you know usually happens with them and you know how uh, you know kind of explain the whole process of how everything works and so basically you know you've got that drainage system and it drains out into a different track or whatever and then you know gets out of your car so it doesn't get in your interior and everything and um, you know so there's a few things that could be wrong with the car um, it could be the rear windshield which that's what I thought it was initially because the, ga the whole gasket around it and everything is just all falling apart. I mean, it looks terrible. And, uh, you know, I mean, the thing's got, that gasket's been through 243,000 miles. It's been running since 1995. So, you know, to fix the rear windshield and to pop it out, replace the seal and everything, um, they're talking about 125 for that work, which is good. I mean, it's a really good price for what it is, if you think about it. I mean, because they've got to figure out not only, you know, I mean, I told them, I said, regardless, you know, if the sunroof is just the tubing on that, I said, we need to at least go ahead and replace that rubber gasket for the rear window as well, because the thing is, I mean, if I don't replace it now, it's going to run into issues later on. So might as well get both of that, you know, if it's just a little hose or something for that, or track for that sunroof, might as well get that taken care of and get the rear window taken care of at the same time. So that way there's no issues later down the road. And so, um, so yeah, so I've been, you know, dealing with that today. And uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. I, I was actually just thinking about, you know, buying parts for the car. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take it for a drive too. And, you know, just get a little, have a little bit of fun with it, you know? And as soon as I popped in there and I saw that, it just, it's like, oh man, something with this year, my vehicles, and water, they just do not mix, but they always mix somehow. If your name is Mark, your car mixes with water, apparently. Knock on uh, fake wood for uh, the Outback, let's hope it doesn't get water damage as well. That'd really suck. But anyways, guys, uh, I don't know, I just kinda wanna do like a little vlog thing today, cause I really just, you know, wanted to kind of tell you guys about the car and then also just wanted to shoot some video while going to Taco Bell. I don't know why, but I thought, why not? Hey. Here you go. All right, 
so I completely forgot to ask for mild sauce, but I've got my tacos. I actually may have mild sauce in my glove box. Nope, just a lot of napkins. Oh man. Not prepared. Alright, so my Taco Bell order is very simple. I'm just I prefer soft tacos, meat and cheese only, and order of nachos. And you take some of the nacho cheese, you put it on your tacos, and it just it makes life so much better. And then the leftover cheese you of course use with the chips because that's a waste if you don't use, you know, all the cheese. Um, so another thing with the 240 is that I better replace the oil pan gasket, not right away, but I feel like I need to do it for sure here soon. And uh, I, you know, I've got the part in hand. I've just gotta find someone who can actually do it. And so I called our local Nissan dealership. Whoa, they got two cups in there. They gave me two cups. But... Okay, so anyway, so I called the Nissan dealership and uh, they were wanting to, they were saying about 375 for the replacement. Which, I mean, to be honest with you, if you think about it, there's a lot of labor involved in doing a um, oil pan replacement on a 240SX. I watched a few YouTube videos and I could do it, but I really don't want to. I don't want to get through trouble. But I'm going to hold off on the wheel pan gasket because it isn't suppressing right now. But the uh, the other, the window, that definitely needs to be taken care of. I'm going to have to also do um, some work on the trunk. I figure out, I guess that window where it's leaking at is leaking in the trunk as well. And so what I need to do or if the sunroof or whatever, part of it's leaking into the trunk though. And it's kind of got a, like a surface rust now, I've noticed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to just knock all that down. And I guess paint it. I, I know that sounds kind of ghetto, but I'm gonna rattle paint it at least, you know, to stop all that as much as I can. I guess you guys will be getting some more 240SX videos. Um, obviously you got the one with the muffler delete. You got the one on the body kit, which I want to do in more in-depth video. That was just kind of something I want to throw together. Give you guys an update on the car. But other than that, the 240SX, I mean, that's a pretty solid car. I mean, it's just, it's got a lot of leaks. Anywhere and everywhere it leaks. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, so it's a different day and we're going to be getting the 240 and rolling it down to right there so we can go ahead and just make sure everything's kind of prepped for the guys to do the new glass install. Hopefully that will fix it. So after about 15 to 20 minutes of letting the air conditioner run in the car and trying to let it dehumidify itself, uh, I'm going to bring this car around back and get the uh, get the shop vac out and try to get any excess water on the inside out. Uh, it's not too bad, it's only on the passenger side it seems like, but yeah, I need to get the saw out of there just to prevent, you know, rust, corrosion, and all that stuff on the floorboards. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get that knocked out. So one of the things I've got to do is uh, pull this light out so they can, you know, get this access. 
I've already um, undid that little coax cable for the car phone antenna. And see, so now we just gotta do this, vacuum this up. We're pulled around in the garage. So let's go ahead and start by getting this light out. I've got to get a Phillips screwdriver. So let me grab that. Two screws holding this up. Let me see if I can do this one handed. And maybe that's not even a screw to go through. Let me hold this, put this camera here for a second. So, the screws do knock that down and they are going into like a metal so you really don't have to worry about them I guess cracking it's just this housing that cracks a little bit but it should be perfectly fine it's not a big deal um so that one is actually a ground I didn't see the other one I guess it grounds to the body of the car so that light can turn on and stuff so I'm just kind of getting a few things prepped before these guys uh, take my car today and get everything set up now we're off to doing the um, vacuuming of the carpet so let's go ahead and get that knocked out All right, so it's kind of uh, cleaned up for now. It's uh, it's not perfect, but yeah, at least it's somewhat cleaned up. I think what I'm gonna do also is maybe replace the carpet. The thing is I can't find any carpet that's in that gray color, so I'm gonna have to switch to black, which would be fine, but I think I'm gonna do that maybe long-term because this carpet, even though it's not terrible condition, it's still kind of old and kind of gross a little bit. And uh, you know, I feel like I, I feel like this car just deserves some new interior carpet. So I think I'm gonna make that happen long term. But anyways, uh, cutting out everything stripped down, even the interior cover piece for the speakers. I'd say we're about almost as stripped down as we can get without needing extra tools like to pop this off and pop this top piece off the headliner. But other than that, I mean, I feel like we're we are set for the guys to work on the back window and sunroof. Uh, we're not really sure which one it is right now, and they're just going to find out today when they tear it all apart. And uh, I think regardless, I'm going to be replacing that window seal in the back because, you know, with the age and how it's popping up and everything, it probably needs to be just replaced and taken care of while uh, it's not too much of an issue. So the seal for the back glass has been replaced. And then they went ahead and just sealed the sunroof because at the moment it had been just a lot more money to, well really in general it'd be a lot more to have the sunroof fixed than it would be to uh, just have it sealed. And for right now, just to kind of eliminate problems, I decided to have it sealed. And so this is how the sunroof looks now it's sealed. Just got this like kind of black goop stuff around it. And here's the new seal on the back glass. It's like a universal style one. The only problem we ran into is they screwed up the antenna, but this thing was having issues anyways with going down, the motor's burned up on it, so I've got to replace that anyway, so I'm not too much concerned about that because it can be fixed. I've got to put this antenna back on. I'm 
major difference. It looks way better now that this part's got to be taken care of next. Well, not this part, but this right here on the door. But this has been replaced and it looks so much better. Really, really happy with the outcome. Sunroof is sealed up. Um, I won't be able to use it, but I can always go back later, break that seal, and have it all completely redone where it will work again. But I mean, for now, I'm not too worried about it. Because if I needed a sunroof or wanted to enjoy the open sunroof part, I've got the um, Outback, which is right ahead of me here. So, what I've got to do now is obviously detail interior because it does, you know, don't want it to stink. Got to replace all these things and plug everything back in and get it all reorganized. Get the interior back in and just enjoy it while I can before the next thing comes up.